Welcome to Specific Love. If you own a rental home, there's a chance you're having to deal with a silent predator. Yes, a silent predator you may not even know about. It's called moisture and humidity. It can come up through your concrete, your rock, or even just directly through the soil. It can make mold happen. It can just make things soggy and unusable. So here are several great ways to help prevent and make things better in your basement, garage, or even workshop. Let's begin. Now a simple and easy way to help prevent moisture from seeping through, especially if you have concrete wall or concrete block, is to use a waterproofing paint. I put this layer down when I was building my uh, lumber rack, and you don't have to, of course, have a lumber rack, but anytime you're gonna have anything close to the wall, it's a good idea to put a layer of waterproofing paint. And whether you have a workshop like mine, or just a plain garage, this is a great way to help humidity from seeping in. Now if you have crawl space under your house like I do here, it's usually a tight space and a lot of times it's just open dirt. And the reason why is it's not really usable area in a lot of times and so you don't put anything down. In this case though, we're trying to put a barrier of plastic. Over a majority of this, we have a plastic layer. In fact, I need to improve upon this myself. But this plastic will help some of that moisture in the dirt from rising up and getting into the house. So that's a great way to help put a layer between your dirt and your house. Now just about everybody's home has hot water and cold water piping. And if you're dealing with a high humidity situation already, it's a good idea to next go check on your pipes. Because if your cold water is not covered, there's a good chance that that cold will help the humidity in the air to condense and form water droplets that make a mess all over your floor or wall or wherever you're dealing with. So this right here is currently just a pool noodle and I've been told by several people it is just as good as the uh, professional stuff you find at your home improvement store. But just make sure you go to check all your pipes, make sure all the cold water ones are covered and well of course not leaking but mainly just covered so that condensation never forms. It's also a great idea to check the drainage tube from the HVAC system because it too can get quite cold and condense water too. It's also a good idea to check around all of your piping for your HVAC. Like I found here was actually, it looks like something hit this on the corner and I put my hand up to it and there's a very small leak. And if that's the case, it can be releasing cool or hot humid air into your garage or basement area. So it's a good idea to get some HVAC foil tape. And the reason why I'm going with the foil tape is just so it looks very similar to what's already on there. We want to cover that up and that way it is less likely to have that moisture humidity going into your garage. Another way to combat moisture inside your house is to actually look on the exterior. You need to look at the ground level and see exactly which way it's sloping. If, sometimes it's easy to see, sometimes it's not. So if you take something long like a pipe or maybe a 2x4 that you know is straight, lay it down on the ground, push down so you know it's not just resting on the grass, get you a level and check with the level and make sure that it is sloping away from the house. If it's sloping toward the house, you may need to do some ground work so you can get that ground sloping away and it'll drain more of the water away from the house than towards it. And of course you need to check your gutter system. First you need to make sure it is draining correctly from above and not dropping in a bad area. But two, you need to make sure it is flowing away from the house. Just like the ground, it could be uneven. You need to make sure that it is also flowing away from your house. So whether you have a plastic extension which just has some cracks in it and needs to be replaced, or you have just some additional metal part of the gutter and you have some elbows to extend that out. In either case, make sure the water is flowing away. Now once you've taken care of all the usual suspects and all the easy tasks, it's a good idea to just realize sometimes some places have high humidity. For example, my garage. So I'm required to have a dehumidifier in here just to take care of some of the humidity in the air. Now I have two different brands here. This is my old one I've had for a while and this is a brand new one. The difference between these two are mainly that this one you have to empty the bucket and this one has a pump. So for example, I used to have to empty this about two times a day. Now that I have this new unit, it should pump itself and that way I don't have to worry about it emptying it at all. In either case, there's a bunch of different brands, there's a bunch of different sizes, there's a bunch of different types. So make sure you do some research and you probably can use a dehumidifier in your garage, your basement, or your workshop. Now first up is a water sealer. Now they come in a bunch of different brands, a bunch of different types, so make sure you do your research and get exactly what you want. The great thing about it is that it works with a simple caulk gun. 
Now this is good for a house settlement or just old age, or by chance if you've had concrete you've put in it two separate times, a lot of times they want to separate over time. This can work well in there. Now this is not for a pouring in of water, but if it's a real slow leak, then this can help. Now some of these, for example, and this is a non-sag, I mean this would work great if you're going along a wall. Or they have some that are self-leveling, which work great if you're putting it on a floor. So make sure you do a little research and make sure you buy the specific one that you need for your application. Now if you happen to have a really severe leak, like water pouring in, another option you might want to consider is a water stop cement. Now this stuff will go right into the crack and it, well, I've been told can even work well if there's underwater too. Now this right here works, dries in about three to five minutes at least initially and it'll get the water to stop so make sure you wear gloves because it can cause severe burns if you're not careful. Now I plan on using this in my dog kennel. I actually have over against one wall a large crack. All it is is a retaining wall, but at certain times of the year when it's heavy rain, I have water that is just pouring through and gets my dog wet and all his stuff wet. So I'm gonna use some of this in that crack so to hopefully cure that problem and to prevent all the water from getting him wet. Now if you have a really extreme leak, I'm talking about water just runs along your floor, especially at the crack, there is an option that you could go with. Now, it's a floor gutter type system. It's actually, imagine a gutter for your floor. Now, it actually adheres to the floor and directs the water in a specific area over to whether you're going to a sump pump or maybe just out to a main drain. In either case, I personally decided not to go with this option because it is a little on the expensive side and they do, in most of the cases, ask for a professional to install it. But I did want to give it as an option to you. In the areas I've seen it done, I've seen it actually done in basements where they completely renovated the whole basement, but specifically because they had this gutter system along the floor and they were able to turn it into a much nicer living space versus having just a wet, damp floor all the time. Now keep in mind, you do have to drill a couple weep holes in your concrete or in your concrete block to get this to work. So just keep that in mind and make sure you go check it out. Now I am not a professional when it comes to humidity and water leakage. I've just done a number of these things around my place and it's helped out a ton. So I hope you can use some of these tips and tricks in your area so that you can utilize the most space of what you have.